So this is my wife's new craft room. We spent our Thanksgiving break renovating our back porch and turning it into a place where she could do all of her cool projects. Throughout the video, I'll be sure to put in some pictures of what this place looked like before, but this was sort of a weird kitchen. And this is a pass-through that actually goes into the primary kitchen in our house. And we didn't really know what to do with this area, so she used it as like a little coffee and tea station with some storage and this is where we put all of our keys and cat food and all the little things that we didn't really know where else to put. It was really important to her to have different stations to do different kinds of work and so this first little station is at the end of an 18 foot long desk and she has this grid wall that we picked up from a store that was closing and she has her important cricket tools for weeding cricket stuff and pencils and paint brushes and of course the Ryobi glue gun and things like that so this is just a really cool little station. Just like in my office, we have the paper on the side of the desk that you can pull over for painting and things like that so that you don't mess up the desk. One of my favorite things about the way that we did it this time is there is no end on the roll, which allows you to pull it out and pull the paper over the end of the desk. So moving down the desk, we have what used to be an exterior window to our house and I filled it in by making some shelves and she has some signs and some succulents and various paints and ribbons and some extra vinyl. The area overall is about 33 feet long by 12 feet wide, so it gives us a good bit of space to do some fun stuff. As you can tell, my wife is really big about having a place for everything, so she incorporated these wire racks and paper racks and various cube type organizers under the desk, which she's labeling them as she fills them. And so everything has its place, everything has a home, and that is the way that she loves it. My wife is a teacher and she often teaches from home and so this little area on the side of the desk gives her room to put all of her books and do some other things that she needs to do for her teaching job. And uh, as you move over here you can see the computer itself. She was really big about not wanting to have a whole lot of wires on her computer so if you can look back here you'll see that there's actually a hole in the wall and all of the computer wires run through the wall and there's even a power button back there to turn the computer on and off from the wall itself. For those of you who are interested, she is rocking a Ryzen 5 3600 computer that she built with her own two hands. Pretty impressive. And over here on the side, she has her Cricut Bright Pad, which makes weeding vinyl and tracing things very easy. Over on this side, we have another little workstation where she does a lot of her t-shirt work and Cricut work. We have this little organizer thing here that came from Ikea, as well as a metal basket and a few other things that have some future use. Uh, up top here we have a new heat press. We used to use the heat press that slid over to the side, but uh, she decided that she wants one that opens up wider. So this one we got this off Amazon for about $150. Over here we have the 24 by 36 cutting mat with all of her various Cricut tools. Uh, some things to help with weeding and these new little silicone things that hold on to the stuff as you peel it off of the vinyl. Uh, all kinds of little fun stuff to make weeding vinyl easier. And she recently upgraded to the Cricut Maker from the Explorer Air 2. And this is that model which can do things like wood and leather and uh, cuts a lot faster than the other one. Up top we've added some extra storage for the big rolls of vinyl as well as some places to hang the mats so that they don't get dirty and a few other little shelves. My favorite thing about this work area is that these tables are both tall and on wheels and so that allows us to move these tables to different places and use one of them as a work table while we are printing shirts on the other table and just move things around however we need it for whatever we're doing. Underneath we have t-shirts stored by size and folded neatly. That is all her because I would have them in a big jumbled mess. One of the downsides to getting rid of all the cabinets that were back here is that we lost a lot of our overflow kitchen storage. So we built a little tiny pantry in here to hold some of the things that we don't necessarily need every day, but we don't want to part with either. This is a view of the craft room from the other side. And this curtain over here gives her a little bit of privacy if she's teaching. Uh, on the other side of that is our living room, so it's kind of nice that she could be in here and working and just have some privacy. This wall over here is just a partition wall that we could take down if we ever needed to, but it's built in there with shiplap and we didn't enclose the windows because we wanted the option to pull this out later. So there's a curtain blocking the way to our little storage room. This room is hard to take in in all its glory, so I'm going to go ahead and do a faux pas and flip the camera to vertical. So as you walk into the storage room, you can see that my wife definitely loves to have everything in its own place. This wall ahead of us has a whole bunch of bins 
and some of her storage of pillows and different things like that that she makes. Uh, there's also some smaller t-shirts that are stored in here. As we come around to the right, we have these industrial shelves that have labeled bins and other supplies for her crafting, uh, gifts and t-shirts and screen printing supplies, things like that. Coming down the other side, we have some more tubs and another industrial shelf over here. And finally, another set of grid wall with some shelves for some things that she wants to be able to access quickly. So over here on this little cart, we have two printers. There's a color inkjet printer and a sawgrass printer that is similar to dye sublimation called Chroma Blast. It allows us to print full color things and put them on cotton shirts and things like that. And tucked away behind all these bins is her computer attached to the wall so that it's up and out of the way. So here's the craft room in all its glory. This thing was definitely a labor of love turning this unused space into something that my wife is able to use and to love every single day. And so she's also going to be starting a YouTube channel, making some craft projects and doing some reviews of different crafting products. If you're interested in that sort of thing, I will put a link in the description so you can subscribe. And hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.